hands up who saw that coming hello everyone welcome to my soccer universe and yeah uh before we get to iran and japan i'm wearing black that's the last last shirt that we have to look at in my collection will happen soon i'm wearing black f uh, because of morning but nothing to do with the soccer games today it's a personal issue and yeah better move on with some soccer iran against japan it was basically the many said this is the, f the true final of the asian cup i mean the winner of this one is gonna uh, move on and we knew ahead of the game that uh, iran was sensational most of the time in the tournament scoring many goals i think conceded only one goal outscoring the um uh opponents and sarad azmoun is a, a veritable star at this tournament so um that was interesting but we also saw that japan not always pretty but rather efficient um and you always knew that japan is this kind of a tournament team in asia they've won the asian cup four times and never discount the japanese um both teams have shown last year at the world cup that they and japan more or less had belgium on the ropes and uh almost eliminate them if belgium would not have given up i think that game was and a little bit naive defended by japan it's gotta be said and iran hung in there with spain and portugal had them on the ropes i mean they they were only a goal away from eliminating portugal so yeah um that was a big matchup here uh in my opinion probably the best two teams in the tournament only thing Iran spectacular, Japan more efficient, but a typical tournament team, and those are the more dangerous ones. And the game started in a way that way. Um, Iran having control, trying to go forward, trying to attack, but Japan putting on a defensive masterclass, uh, hanging back, quick counterattack. And when you watch uh, just some quick highlights, you see mostly Japanese chances in the first half because, yes. They were quick on the counter. Um, Iran only later had a rather big chance that I, when I saw it, I thought it will go in, but it didn't go in. But it was nil-nil at halftime. And from what I could read, uh, the you know, I watched the highlights and I read up on the game because it was really uh, deserving of it. It was a big, huge clash. Um, the Japanese uh, defenders took care of Amun. Uh, by just passing him around uh, when they're in the field, when they're in the respective field of influence, and um, kind of took him out of the game that way. I mean, sacrificing two players to guard one is is almost an archaic tactic these days, but seemingly it worked um, for most of the t uh, game. Um, and then the game turned on a really weird situation. Iran did not want to play overtime. They wanted to decide the game in the second half and increase their attacking, um, uh, increased their attacks basically. Uh, went more in the offensive and that played right into the tactics of Japan um, who just tried to get counters and it was a counter attack that got the breakthrough. Uh, one of the weirdest goals you will ever see. Um, Minamino, who's actually playing for Salzburg, uh, quite good them. I don't think he's in the first team, but he's uh, a regular. Uh, runs, gets fouled, and the referee makes a move, but I think he's just saying play on, but uh, the Iranian players were kind of confused at a second and thought that the referee has given a free kick. Five running towards the referee, and the ball is going to the corner flag where Mina Mina is running there and uh, gets the ball in. The Iranian players realize a little bit too late and are completely out of position. Although Mina Mina had to make a little detour. They are out of position. And he puts the flank in onto uh, the cross in. Flank. We have in German the cross is flanke. That's why I'm saying that. Um, I'm tired. But I really... I uh, need to talk about this now because otherwise I cannot sleep uh, myself. So the cross comes in and Osako heads the ball into the net. And the weird thing is that I thought the one that was most out of position was the goalkeeper. Uh, 
because Osaka was right ahead of the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper did not even go to as a ball in any way. Uh, absolutely weird, weird goal. And that turned the game. Uh, you knew that uh, defensive Japanese team 1-0 up. It's almost like Italy being 1-0 up. Uh, but it got even better for Japan. Again, Minamino um, wants to put in a cross uh, in the box. It goes to the hand of the Iranian defender. I don't like those penalties, but you know, they will always look at it board. They will always give a penalty for that. And Osaka gets his second. And Minamino, uh, more or less a second assist in a way. And that was the game. I think there was nothing coming from Iran anymore. It's even worse. Japan scored a third one by Genki Hiraguchi. Uh, Haraguchi, not Hiraguchi, Haraguchi, again by Minamina Cross. So uh, he was actually the star of the game, uh, the way I, I, I can see it. Um, yeah, people were complaining that Japan is not showing much. They finally showed something. Now, uh, the curious thing will, of course, be, will this go the way that Euro 2016 goes, where we also said Germany-France is the uh, final, in the semi-final, and then Portugal wins it all. Um, but to be honest, I don't see either Qatar or the UAE giving uh, Japan too much trouble. Japan is a, is a really good team. They play efficient. Um, and they have good players. <laughs> I cannot say it any other way. Um, would have loved to see Iran the way they played. Yes, I think I would have loved to see Iran win the tournament. But I also knew that uh, never discount Japan, and I'm uh, not unhappy that Japan is in the final. Um, I think it would have made for a great final between Iran and Japan. Really think this should have been the final. Um, I think Qatar showed a promise and. I would give them the edge over the Emirates, which, yes, they eliminated Australia, but the Emirates have not been convincing to me the entire tournament. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. But uh, I honestly think that Japan should do this. But, you know, I jinxed Iran. I don't want to jinx Japan now. I think it's open, up for grabs. Okay, let me know in the comments what you thought about this match. Um, how you see things uh, panning out. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.